You know that he's not telling you the whole story. Did he open up completely about what happened in Italy? No. If you hadn't gone and seen it for yourself, you would have never known what happened in that hotel room. I feel terrible. I'm really sorry. I mean, it's just, I, you know, I'm, I'm there and, and you weren't around. So. But Steffi was familiar. I may have went out with her the night before, too. I'm sorry, it's just I promised to be honest with you, and hey, you know, I am, I'm sticking to that. Uh, but, but we didn't cross the line. I mean, it's not like we were, we were kissing or anything. They made out in the corner of the club, and then went upstairs to Cabana. You know, you're not supposed to be thinking about Liam. I wasn't. Okay, maybe a little. Well, don't make me break my promise to Rick. He's expecting me to keep Liam off your mind. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. Thank you, but um, I'll be all right. You have better things no. to do. No, no. I am right where I need to be. Let me see. <sighs> well. At least the hair dye washed out. Yeah, and the tattoo. Yes, yes, it's gone. <sighs> Gotta miss it. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad Hope scheduled the wedding so early in the day. I mean, if she were just seeing you now. She still would have loved me. I mean, Steffi, it wasn't about how I looked. Night before my wedding and I'm going out with another woman? With you? I was wrong. And now she's gone. Dr. Caspery says everything's going well with you? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, I guess my blood pressure was a little elevated, but that's not surprising since my appointment was right after I laid into Liam. Oh my gosh, honey, you've gotta be careful. I know, it's just that I'm so disappointed in him. Any updates? I don't want your stress level to get up. Any no, higher. no, come on, I'm fine. What's going on? Hope told Liam it's over. I know this is difficult. You want to reach out, it's in your nature to forgive, but how many times? Liam's probably with my sister right now. He says he wants to marry you, but then he goes right to her. I know. I know, and that is why this has to end, because I'm not putting up with his divided feelings anymore. I have too much self-respect. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I mean, you're right, it's, it's not going to be easy. I'm just thinking about seeing them together, or even, you know, running into him. I, oh God, I'm, I'm dreading going over there to pick up my stuff. If he's there, what are we gonna say? I'll go with you. It's fine. No, thank you, but no. No, seriously, that's... let's do it right now. Now? Yeah, why not? I don't, I don't know, it just, it seems so soon. What, is there a chance you might get back with him? <laughs> not if he can't change the way he feels about Steffi or undo everything he's done. <laughs> well, the sooner the better. I'm helping you get your stuff out of there. Tonight. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault. I made the decision. Keep making it, actually. Turn into you every single time I need somebody. Yeah. Well, why is that so wrong? 
You know, you you feel it too. You feel the connection that we have. Yeah, I do. But we don't act on it. Not counting Italy, okay. But once we knew the truth, and the two of you said your vows, you have been faithful. And she knows that. I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter now. She's had enough, so. You know what I think we should do? We should pop in one of your Bob Hope tapes and forget about everything that happened today and just turn off our minds and laugh. And eat. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah, me too. I don't, I don't think I have anything here. You know what, I can, I can pick something up. Do you still like that pesto pizza from down the road? Yeah, but I mean, you don't have to go. No, it's fine, just relax. Crack open a beer and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, actually, can I take your car? My bike's in Venice. Yeah. Don't start the movie without me. <laughs> okay, good, his car's not here. Yeah. Liam's probably still at the club. What, not funny? Well, just think about all the great tattoos he's getting. I hope he wakes up in the morning with a really horrible haircut. Hey, that's the spirit. Thing. You're getting it. Are you sure we have enough boxes? Yeah, I don't have much to pack. You ready? Ready. Call Hope. No! I don't want to overwhelm her. I left her a message. She'll call me when she's ready. I just want to hear it from her why she feels like she has to do this. I mean, I know she's hurt and Liam's behavior was awful, but she's forgiven him for worse. I know. That's why I keep wondering about this. Hope and Liam have been the victims of manipulations for a long time, and I can't help think that maybe Steffi is doing something or maybe somebody else. Somebody like Bill? Well, it's possible. Hope is really in love with Liam, and I don't understand why she would break it off like this. Well, I guess it does seem odd. Yeah, it does. It does seem very, very odd. I mean, they both made mistakes, but they managed to get past it all, and now suddenly something like this makes them break up? I don't get it. Well, Hope has every right to be angry. I mean, I'm angry. I'm angry, too. It was a stupid thing that Liam did, but still. Is it really that unforgivable? Okay, let's say that somebody else is involved. Someone is manipulating Hope to get her to break up with Liam. What could they possibly say to her? Hey. Hey. What are you talking about? Hope and Liam. And wondering if there's more to this breakup. Since someone always seems to be meddling in their relationship. That's weird. He left all the lights on. Yeah, guess Liam left in a hurry. Maybe he's coming right back. Maybe, you want me to call Steffi? See if they're nearby? No, no. Let's just get this over with. You okay? It's just, you know, this was supposed to be my wedding night. I should have been walking through those doors with Liam coming home, finally married, and instead I'm packing up my stuff. Oh. What are you uh, doing? I'm, I'm just getting my things. Thomas? Liam? He just came to help. See. Sorry. Right, we just didn't know you were here. No. It's, it's okay. Do you need me to leave? No, I'm. No, I mean it's it's fine. Uh, I guess we should get started. Yeah. Listen, listen. You know you don't have to do this. I 
do. I'm sorry. I love you, Liam. But I do. Seems pretty clear to me. The jerk got hammered with Steffi last night. Hope had enough. Kicked him to the curb. Oh, Rick. Am I wrong? Look, we all agree that Liam made a colossal error in judgment, but Hope still loves him, and he loves her. With a good fight and a change in attitude from Liam, they could still go on and plan their wedding. But instead, Hope breaks up with him. It, it just doesn't seem like it has to be that way. I don't know. I'm not convinced that they're meant for each other. How can you say that? They fought so hard to be together. Exactly. Should it be that difficult? Look, I know that it's Bill's son. You're kind of obligated to like the guy, but the fact is he made Hope's life miserable. No, no, Steffi has made Hope's life miserable, okay. not Liam. They both did. I think he's more suited for Steffi. Oh. No. <sighs> After parting with her the night before the wedding, because Hope missed a, his little dinner? Oh. Hey, come on. Is he that star for female attention that he can't be home alone for one night? No, no excuse. If anybody's being manipulating, it's Liam. He's been so unfair to Hope, jumping at any chance to run off with Steffi. I'm glad Hope told him enough. You must see that this is what's best for her. Is the rest of it? I think so. Uh, yeah, everything on that dresser. All right, well, it should fit in that last box. I can start loading the car. OK. Do you? Want some help? No. No. No, we got it covered, Liam. Um, um, these, these are yours. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm probably forgetting more, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just, if I find any more, you know, I'll call you. No, um, no, just, um... You know, let my Aunt Katie know. Okay, yeah. So we're not even talking on the phone now. Please. Liam, this is hard enough as it is. Pizza delivery! Oh! Hello. All right, good thing I got a large. Look, I'm almost done here, so, um... I'll be out of your way very soon. Thomas, you know, maybe we should give them a moment. God, how do you do that? How do you pretend to care about our relationship? Because I care about Liam. Really? If that were true, you would have stayed away from him last night. You would have respected his decision to be with me. It is just the same thing over and oh, over and no, over hey, from you. It's not you. worth it, OK? Let's just finish what we came here to do. I don't want Hope to be with somebody that doesn't make her happy. If they could just get other people out of their relationship, they would be fine. Yeah, but at some point you have to realize it's not working. I know, but if she hasn't even given him a chance yet. She's given him every chance. How many times have they tried to get married? Three? It never happens. Look, you can fret about it, you can worry that she's making a mistake. Try to convince her to forgive him for the millionth time, or you can just be grateful that she's strong enough to move on. Hope is an amazing person. She's got a lot to look forward to, a lot that doesn't involve Liam Spencer. He doesn't deserve her. We should all just be glad that she's not hung up on him anymore. What are you doing? Helping Hope move. Yeah, it's a little insensitive. What? Look at Liam. This is killing him. Couldn't you come on another day when well, he wasn't here? We didn't know he was going to be here. Come on, sis. I thought you'd be happy she's moving out. Um, this isn't about me. And why are you involved, Mr. Caroline's the son in the moon? It's not like that. Mm-hmm. Sure. 
Hope needed my help. I'm here for her. <clears throat> um, can we talk? There really isn't anything left to say. I just, I don't understand what happened. Seriously? How can you say that? No, I, I mean, I, I know. I'm sorry about last night. I, I, I made a huge mistake. I made the wrong decision. But why does that mean that we're through? Liam, I thought I made it very clear. Steffi's very important to you, yeah, but there's a line you don't cross. And he didn't. Uh, Thomas, do you mind? I'm just gonna be a minute. Not at all. I'll just finish loading up the car. I'm sorry. Um, what do you think happened last oh, night? Oh, God, I know what happened. Okay. What? Steffi, you don't have to... No, 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 no. It's, it's not okay. So what if he had a night out? Did he drink too much? Yeah, probably. That tattoo, hair dye. Was a mistake? Sure. But look at him now. He's cleaned up. He can't clean up everything. And what is your problem, Steffi? This is good for you. No more holding back or, or hiding your feelings because I am no longer in the way, okay? Be with each other, run off together, go to clubs, shave your heads, go dancing all night, drink until you pass out. I really don't care. You don't get to hurt me anymore. But there's obviously something that I don't provide you that she does. So go for it. Be together. Don't feel guilty. Don't look back. I'm not. You want to live your life on the dark side? Live it with Steffi. <laughs> <laughs>